I'm going to make a new Maven project in IntelliJ. I'm going to set it to uh, auto import to all dependencies. And I am going to make this a JavaFX application with database integration that is fully runnable outside of the IDE. So I'm going to do new JavaFX application, call this main. And I'm going to grab some existing code for a few of these things. Just make sure this compiles the way it's structured. It does. Nothing happens yet, but I'm a big fan of running things frequently to make sure there aren't any problems before I get too far along. And I'm going to add a controller. You can actually enable framework support with an existing project and just kind of move some files around as well. So that is another option. So I'm going to make a new uh, FXML file. I could have chosen an FXML file to get some of the existing code, but like I said, I've already got some of this in another program, so I'm just going to copy and paste a few things in. And it will all be in the comments for the description of the video. So I've got a very basic um, main file. It was in a program that had a package named sample, so I just deleted that line. The controller is pretty straightforward. It is uh, connecting to an H2 embedded database uh, named HR that's in a resources folder. Uh, there's no username and password. Uh, the POM file is what controls everything in a Maven project. So this is just the, the default that is from the options when I created the project. I'm going to paste in a couple of plugins. Um, and I'll explain more about what those plugins are doing momentarily. But right now, let's make sure this program runs with the additions we've just made. And it does not. We get an exception that the class was not found for the sample.controller. Um, as I mentioned, it had been in a project that had a, a sample package, and this one does not. So I will just remove sample from that line and see if it works now. Uh, it compiles and starts up, but it says that, that uh, no table was found in the database. But look what just happened. Uh, that resources folder just got created because of that line in my controller. Uh, so now I'm going to connect to that database that was created and add some tables and some data to it. And this is an embedded H2 database. So if you didn't catch uh, what just happened there, I'm going to do the same thing again momentarily. But this is just some SQL that will create tables, add some data to it, and just to verify that that did happen. And also to stop the database from being connected in IntelliJ, I'm going to double click on the, the jobs table there. Now I'm going to run the program again, and from within IntelliJ, it does properly connect to the database and display some of the fields. All right, but the objective here is to get this program to run outside of the IDE. So we are going to try to create an executable jar from the Maven tab uh, under Lifecycle install. And attempting that initially, I get an error. And now is when I will talk a little bit more about what this POM XML file does. Right. The first Plugin is for making a jar for this program. So it's with the Maven jar plugin. And that says to read from a manifest.mf file. And that is the piece that is missing right now. So uh, within the resources folder underneath uh, SRC, I'm going to make that uh, meta INF folder that is referenced 
in the XML file. And in it, I'm just going to identify what the main class of this program is. And the program still runs with IntelliJ. And we want to see if that made a difference when we try to create the executable jar. Uh, the build did succeed. So I'm going to look in my uh, project folder. There's now a target folder. And within it is a, a large jar file. Uh, it's a large jar file because it also includes the H2 uh, driver jar file. Um, but you can see it did not show any data from the database because it actually created a new database outside of the project folder uh, within that target folder. So I'm going to remove this database that was the one for the project. And I'm going to connect to the one that is part of the target folder. And so I'm going to point to the folder that it's in and attack on the uh, database name and tell it that it's an H2 database. And I'm going to paste in that same SQL that I used before to create tables and add some data to those tables. Uh, but now it is working on the database that is in the target folder outside of the project. And once again, um, we're connecting just to make sure that it, the data is there and also uh, to make sure that we're disconnected in the IDE because otherwise if, when you try to connect from the program, it would not be able to. And this time, it does connect. Now the only two files, or the one folder and the one file that you need, are these two. And you can um, send them off in a flash drive or host them somewhere, and a, a client would be able to run this program with just those two items. And you can also rename this jar file to whatever you want. It's got no references or dependencies on anything else. So Call it something user-friendly and make sure those two things go together and you'll be good to go.